Fold and Visit Cycling Holidays is a small tour company that operates out of an almost completely nondescript building on a narrow street near the Trindade metro station in the north central part of Porto, Portugal. I arrived in Porto along with 20 other individuals from all around the world to participate in the Way of St. James bike tour with Fold and Visit Cycling Holidays, a week-long bicycle touring pilgrimage from Porto, Portugal to the Shrine of the Apostle St. James the Great in the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela in northwestern Spain. After checking in at the Fold and Visit headquarters and being fitted on one of the company's many rental bikes, I met up with some of the other Way of St. James bike tour participants for a guided walking tour of the city with one of the Fold and Visit tour leaders, a young man named Jose. So technically the old part of the city, you cannot do anything to the facade. So if you want to get demolish all the interior of the building, but the facade you even cannot change the color of the building. You have to ask permission to the city hall and in 99% of the cases they will say Jose introduced himself and then took our small group on a two-hour long walking tour of Porto, Portugal, showing us the churches, the train stations, the architecture, and the history of this beautiful European city. This one, it's the traditional Portuguese cook. It's the pastel de nata. Once I have American said, okay, that's a pie with a pudding inside. I said, okay. My favorite part of the walking tour was when Jose took us to the Sao Bento railway station in the center of Porto. In this single room, there are approximately 20,000 blue and white tiles dating from 1905 to 1916. From the Sao Bento railway station, we continued our tour through the city and eventually made our way to the waterfront, one of the most picturesque parts of Porto. stock market palace and since the beginning the city of Porto used to be uh, a harbor city so we used to receive a lot of people from different kinds of different parts of the world so the stock market for the city was a very important building so the bishop of the city allowed to build Once there, we walked across the Louis I Bridge and entered the Burmester Wine Cellars, where we were given a short tour of the winery, 
and learned why port wines and other wines made in the Douro region of Portugal are so special. We try to use mostly traditional uh, mm. ways so we don't lose the, the tradition. For this one, for example, but of course for bottling the, the port wine, we don't we do not use the same machines as before because well, I mean, we need to, yeah. to bottle way more bottles. For example, we export 7.5 million of bottles in the group so Venus. Eventually, we were taken into a large tasting hall where we were given the opportunity to taste several of the wines we had just learned about. After our walking tour of Porto was complete, our small group of weary travelers returned to the Porto Trindade Hotel and promptly fell asleep. It had been a long day, we were tired, and we knew that we had a big day of bicycle touring ahead of us. In the morning, we woke up early and had breakfast in the hotel. There was a big buffet breakfast on offer and we scarfed down the delicious presentation as quickly as we could before returning to our rooms, grabbing our things, and making our way to the Fulton Visit shop for the start of the bike tour. Only the pedals. I was a little worried about the traffic leading out of Porto with such a big group. I didn't know how the Fulton Visit tour leaders were going to get us all out of the city without any of us getting lost or separated from the group. But to my amazement, the bike ride out of Porto was a whole lot easier than I originally thought it would be. We wound our way through the cobblestone streets, down to the river's edge, and then eventually found our way onto a separated bike path along the western side of the city. Sometime around noon, we stopped at a small local restaurant and ordered lunch. After a well-deserved meal, we jumped back on our bicycles and began the second half of the cycling portion of the day.
Before we knew it, we arrived in the sleepy city of Sposende and checked into the Hotel Suave Mar, a large rectangular hotel with white walls, a red roof, and a swimming pool located in the center of the building. That night, the Fold and Visit tour leaders, Sergio, Jose, Tiago, and Pedro, took us out to a nearby restaurant where we got our first taste of Portuguese seafood. As a vegetarian, I had a somewhat difficult time finding something substantial to eat, but others in our group ate extremely well, and our feast that night was a great way to end the first full day of our bicycle touring pilgrimage to Santiago de Compostela on the Way of St. James bike tour with Fold and Visit Cycling Holidays. Tell me about the bike ride yesterday. Oh, the bike ride yesterday was great. Uh, quite the adventure, uh, beautiful scenery, well organized. Uh, so I recommend it for anybody. Cool. Yeah, it was excellent. Where are you yeah. from in the world? I'm from the United States. Yeah. Uh, at the moment, Kentucky. And, well, why, and why did you come to Portugal? Oh, uh, well, it's something I've always wanted to do, and uh, uh, it was just an opportunity for a great adventure. Uh, actually, I saw it on an Instagram message from you, I think, and yeah. uh, somewhere along the way, I got interested in Portugal, and so it was a great time to do it. Cool. And what do you think of Portugal thus far? Oh, I love it. It's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. It's enchanting. <laughs> yeah, really, really and truly it is. It's brilliant. Cool. How was the bike ride yesterday? It was great. Uh, getting out of Porto was, was fun, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. And it was nice to get out on the river and with the ocean on the one side. It was beautiful. Smooth riding. Well, not smooth. A lot of cobblestones. But Nice and flat and fun. Yeah. And Good the scenery? Start. Scenery was nice. Yeah, the ocean views, warm sunshine. It was nice. Cool. What was your favorite part of the day? Uh, I think just when we got out of the city and we're riding along the river, when things kind of got off the road and on the bike trails, that was nice. I want to say two things. First of all, Put all the luggage in the morning, try to put it near to the van. Yeah. We have some luggage that don't have the, the orange thing, and sometimes it's a little bit tricky to identify, but we already know all the luggage, but try to always put the luggage near to the van, okay? Mm -hmm. Second, and sorry to say, most important one, on the road. In the bike path, we don't care so much about that, but on the road, please be extra careful, always try to be on the right. Please avoid to go on the middle of the road because our two, most of those are two-way roads and we need to be always careful. Try to maintain always a single line and always most on the right as possible, okay? And look at the guys, the guys normally they do a lot of signs, so be extra careful. If you have any doubts, any questions during all the tour, please say to one of the guys and we will try to resolve, okay? kilometers on the second day of the Way of St. James bike tour led us down a dirt farm road. 
Then we turned inland and began cycling on a mix of paved roads and cobblestone streets. One moment we were cycling along the Atlantic Ocean, looking out at the water splashing up against the rocks along the shore, and the next moment we were biking through colorful flowers growing outside small beach bungalows. The terrain on this particular day was almost entirely flat, which made for some really enjoyable sections of beachside cycling. Between half past seven till half past ten, you have the dinner if you want to dinner with us. And in the morning, that is included in your stay, you have the breakfast and between half past seven till half past ten. Shower over here, walk in shower. And here is the room. Really nice bed. And then out here is a big balcony. With a good view of the pool. In the evening, a small group of us from the Way of St. James bike tour walked to the center of town, which was filled with dozens of delightful restaurants, cafes, and souvenir shops. In the end, we opted to eat at a charming little place called Baptista, where we were offered a plethora of seafood options as well as some vegetarian pasta, which turned out to be one of my favorite meals on the entire bike tour. On the third day of the Way of St. James bike tour, we woke up early, 
ate a delicious buffet breakfast in the hotel dining room, and then jumped on our bicycles and cycled down the road to the nearby ferry terminal. Okay, right now we're going to catch the ferry boat uh, to go to Spain, to the other side. Um, then after that, after we get out, we're going through all the way through the coast. Okay, it's a beautiful place with bike lanes over there. And uh, we're going to stop in a little village called Oya. Um, there usually it's where we lunch. Then after that, uh, we go uh, to Bayona, it's where we're going to spend our night. And uh, in Bayona, uh, it's a very touristic place, a very famous place. Uh, the client's going to stay uh, probably in the best hotel in this trip. It's in a big castle, a historical one. Um, and I think today, uh, for the clients, we can see them all excited because this is the most easiest day and usually with this weather, uh, people love it uh, to cycle in this day because it's really, really easy. Yeah, and it's kind of uh, exciting too to cross into another country. Yeah, yeah, uh, so you're going to see, they are going to see new food, um, the, for example, the tapas, it's uh, very famous. For example, when you order a beer, you can get the tortilla, for example. It's a, a little uh, tapa where you have potatoes and eggs, for example. Um, and uh, they are going to see, for example, because uh, the Spanish, they like to close the shops after the lunch because of the siesta, some people do the siesta, other people get out to go to the cafes with the family. So if they want to dinner, they have to dinner late in Spain. <laughs> um, and they're going to see that the language is slightly different from the Portuguese. And I think that's a, that's a good thing about crossing to Spain so they can see the difference between Portugal and the Spain. So close countries, but with, uh, with differences. Cool. How do you feel the trip is going so far? Very good, the group is really, really good. Uh, I've done this a few times uh, with other uh, nationalities like Russians and uh, Mexicans. They're all good, but this group, we can see different nationalities like Canadians, um, they're from the United States, uh, Americans. Uh, so, and everyone is talking with each other. I think the ice was broke uh, and it's very nice because uh, usually only in the like the third day uh, it's when we break the ice but even yesterday I think people were already talking with each other and I think it's uh, it's wonderful. Last night we had a great dinner uh, with uh, some people of the group, uh, we had fun, uh, we talk a lot so it's been great so even for us, for the team of Folden Visit. It's great. When we got off the ferry boat, we cycled down the beach and into Spain. Rather than bike straight onto a busy road filled with cars and traffic, we skirted around the coastline on a series of wooden boardwalks and biking trails. This was one of my favorite segments on the entire bike tour.
lunchtime, we reached the tiny town of Oya, where we parked our bicycles and then walked into town for another delicious lunch. And the priests from this region, they used to f a very easy way to fish all the, the fishes in here. They bet they put some things on here, near to the, um, on this part. So the fishes during the highest level of the water come to eat, they wait for the low level and it was easier to, to fish for them. And they used to just to give the fish for all the people who pass it around. So this part is known for the pilgrim route. It's easy to, to eat and known by that part, okay? Okay. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. You're welcome. Are we allowed to thank so me. Yeah, thank we? Pedro. We Pedro, if you want to know the history. Thank you. I didn't realize that there was a shepherd with the and there was a German shepherd with the shepherd. We call salmon on top? And I thought that was good. Oh, I have plenty of pizza if anyone would like to share. As we ate, a skinny cat rubbed up against our legs under the table, quietly begging for a taste of our meal. On this particular day, we spent several hours cycling along the coast. Around every bend in the road was another spectacular scene filled with blue water, ocean views, small towns and villages, and friendly people either walking or cycling the Camino trails leading to Santiago de Compostela. When we pulled into the city of Bayona, Spain, and I saw the large stone walls surrounding our hotel, I knew we were in for something special. I couldn't believe that this magical place located just a short walk from the city center is where we'd be spending our evening. Today we are we have to go maintain all the group together. We cannot go speed up, so we try we will try always to keep all the group together. If something happens, all the group will stop and wait for the others, okay? Uh, if you need something, you will have always three guides, like yesterday. The first hour we are without the support man because they have to go and come back again, but don't worry about it. We have all the things you needed. We have food and water, 
Okay. <laughs> if you need something, say hi and we are going. I didn't want to leave our hotel in Bayona, Spain simply because the day before had been so incredible and our night in Bayona had been so spectacular that I, I just didn't want to leave. But the tour leaders promised me that there was still plenty of good cycling ahead of us and some magical accommodations as well. So with some hesitation, we left the city of Bayona and began cycling north towards the city of Santiago de Compostela in northwestern Spain. Uh, my name's Bob Lafleur, and I'm from Ottawa, Canada. I belong to a small club of uh, older folks that uh, like to bike. We've been to Cape Cod and uh, Niagara on the Lake uh, here in, uh, up in Canada, and we go uh, for a bike trip every year. Oh. And uh, my wife and I. Uh, saw this advertised. Uh, going to the Camino has been uh, on my bucket list for many years and she found this trip uh, to our liking because of my advanced age. Uh, walking was, is not appropriate. So we're very, very happy to be part of this. Cool. What's, what's been your favorite part of the trip thus far? Well, uh, there's some awfully nice people in the group. Uh, the hotels we're staying in are fantastic. The food is great, the, the bicycles are, are excellent, and the view is uh, unbelievable up and down the Atlantic coast like this. Uh, the castles, the homes, the villages, uh, it's all rather spectacular. There was some beautiful beachfront cycling at the beginning of the day, but as we neared the city of Vigo, the traffic began to increase, and we really had to concentrate on staying together as our large group slowly made our way through the crowded city. Thankfully, the traffic was moving slowly and the drivers were courteous, so we made it through the hustle and bustle of the city without any problems. After we made our way out of the city of Vigo and crossed the iconic cobblestone bridge in Oval, we knew that the worst of our bike ride that day was behind us. While most of the way of St. James Bike Tour is extremely flat, and this is a bike tour that almost anyone with any bike riding experience can complete successfully. The final hill of the day was a short but steep challenge. Come on, 
Gotta race you to the top. First of all, today it's an easy day, uh, 25 kilometers, okay, uh, the, the route it's really easy, flat, we have uh, pavement roads, some dirt roads, okay, uh, in the woods, okay, in some parts, alright, we're going to do a break in the middle of the morning, around 11, 11.30, uh, in a very nice park, you're going to love it. Okay, are you enjoying so far? Yeah. Oh, yes. I hope. Okay, yes. the Folden Visit yes. team, we are enjoying very much yes. this this group. Okay, and uh, we hope that uh, you have, you have the same feeling about us. Okay, thank you very much for listening. Uh, let's bike. Let's go. On this particular day, we really began to see the number of pilgrims on the trail increase. There were hikers and bikers everywhere.
Once in the city, we cycled a short distance uphill to the nearby Sir? Torre del Rio Hotel, a hotel unlike any other I have ever stayed at before. The hotel itself is really rather small, consisting of no more than a couple dozen rooms, but the grounds on which the hotel sits is absolutely massive and it's one of the most beautiful places I've ever had the pleasure of staying on any of my bike tours anywhere in the world. The Torre de Rio gets its name because the hotel is situated up high on the rocks overlooking a bend in the Umio River below. From the hotel you can look down in almost any direction and see the water from the river making its way through the rocks on the river floor. My name is Gordon Davies. Yeah. I'm from Warminster in Wiltshire of England. Yeah. Have you ever been to Portugal before? No. How would you describe it to someone who's never been here before? It's very hot. Yeah. The wine is lovely. The food is fantastic. I've had a great time. And some of the architecture is very good. But once you get through and you've got that land smell, that smell of plants, fresh plants, Things of this nature and the trails and that views. Well, waterfalls are fantastic today. Yeah. Couldn't get better than that. But I've had a fantastic time. I'm absolutely soaking wet and sweat. <laughs> After eating, we walked out onto the streets of the city and made our way to the nearby thermal foot baths, where we removed our shoes and soaked our feet in the warm water. During the day, these hot springs are used by the numerous pilgrims making their way to Santiago de Compostela to wash their feet and relax after a long day of hiking on the road. But at night, when we were there, we had the entire place to ourselves, and we delighted in the peace and solitude of the bath's warm water, knowing that we only had one more day of cycling ahead of us before we reached the final destination on our incredible cycling holiday in northwestern Portugal and Spain. and down we have time let's do a very good warm-up because today as you know it's the last day it's not the most difficult one but you already have five days in your legs so let's go easy down okay the air was filled with excitement on the final day of our week-long bike tour to Santiago de Compostela in northwestern Spain 25 individuals from all around the world had gathered in Porto, Portugal and ridden for five full days to the north. Now, there was only 40 kilometers to go before we reached the shrine of the Apostle St. James the Great in the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela. Traffic was heavy on the Camino footpaths on this particular day, but the spirits of everyone on the trails was high. The 
scenery on this last day of the tour did not disappoint. There were times when we found ourselves cycling on narrow dirt trails that passed through shaded forests, and other times where we were able to bike along easily on beautiful paved roads that passed through small towns and villages. All along the way, locals and pilgrims alike greeted us with friendly smiles. As lunchtime drew near, we found ourselves cycling into the center of Padron, Spain, a town with great religious and historic significance. no time, we found ourselves in the center of the city and standing in front of the famous cathedral in Santiago de Compostela. We had done it, and the tour leaders from Fold and Visit Cycling Holidays were the first to congratulate us on the completion of our ride. to do. It's going with the bikes, park the bikes and after that go to the Ohada. Uh, to take the, the Compostela. In this square, you, turn, you go down all the way in the end of the, the square. Down, and after that you turn uh, to the right. It's easier if you go there in the morning, yeah. because in the morning you don't have so many pilgrims reaching in here in Santiago. So, in the morning it's easier. What time do they open? What time did they open? Eight in the morning, so... It was interesting to just sit and watch the people wandering about in Santiago de Compostela. Some of the people I knew were locals who have walked these streets hundreds or thousands of times in their lifetime, while others I knew were pilgrims like me who came to Santiago de Compostela for a wide range of reasons. Some come to the cathedral in the center of the city for religious reasons, while others choose to come there for the history. Some make the pilgrimage to Santiago de Compostela because they saw a film about the Camino and decided, for one reason or another, that this looked like something that they might like to try themselves. And others, like myself, come to the scenic city in northwestern Spain because it's not really about the place itself, but more about the experiences you have getting there along the way. Done. Cool. Let's see it. Here are my pilgrim documents. Okay. This is the this is the normal one. 
they put your name and the date and uh, that you made it. Yeah. And this one is a personalized one. Again, my name, um, how far we traveled from where we came, and the date we completed it. Cool. And where is your passport book? Oh, oh, that would be a good thing to see. Yes, I've been checking, checking on this every five minutes for the last six days. Yes, here it is. So it's uh, it's getting full. Anyway, these stamps are um, every city and stop that we we made. Uh, the routine is to go in and, and ask the person if they'd stamp it for you. When you pull this out, they all know what to do. So language isn't a problem. So there it is. And you have to get how many stamps in order to get the certificate? Two per day. Yeah. Which we all did easily. And then of course the final stamp is right here at the Pilgrim's Office in San, uh, given by the Pilgrim's Office in Santiago, hmm. Spain. So you did it. You completed I the did. mission. I completed it. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> You and your team. You're, you, you four guys 
are, are really special in, in my mind and, and uh, some of the people I've spoken to. Anyway, uh, I, I, I would like to say, pay tribute to each individual, but there is no time. All I want to say is, I, I will highlight one of them. Uh, it's, it's, it's the van. It's the van. The man with the van. Yeah. The Sherpa. The Sherpa. Coming here, I was bragging to my friends that we were going on this trip. We were going on this trip, and that my wife had organized uh, this trip for us, and that there was a, a van following us. But I told everybody, because of my advanced age, it's probably an ambulance. <laughs> It's an ambulance disguised as a van, <laughs> but the van traveled, it, it transported the sick, the injured, the frustrated, <laughs> the swelling, <laughs> and the tired. <laughs> anyway, I, I, have, I could go on and on and on, but I want to say it's a tremendous accomplishment for me. It's uh, been on my bucket list for many years. I'm so proud of myself and proud of you. And I consider myself now part of Val's team. Anyway, uh, on behalf of my wife and myself and my friends, before he knew oh, oh, Everybody. Thank you. 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 A lifetime of adventure of <laughs> sucking my friends in <laughs> and taking them on trips, trips trip. around the world and enjoying yeah. the best time been? of my life. Okay. So, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Knowing what the terrain would be like. Nor do we all. No, no. And it was extraordinary. And each day was wonderful. And we went from sort of meandering and strolling to like up the hill and down the hill and holding on to those bricks and like letting go and saying, like, oh my god, this works better than holding on to the bricks. But I really want to thank Sergio and Tiago and Jose and Pedro, you made a wonderful trip for us and this was really magnificent. And I came on this trip to challenge myself and while many of it was beautiful scenes, oh my god, the coast of the agriculture of the everything, I could go on and on, but there were a lot of up and downs. <laughs> and I appreciated that and there was human power. And there was electric power. Oh, oh, we yeah. did it. Yeah. Oh, we all did it. Yeah. Now yeah. It's yeah. Yeah. So, so to hear all of us. Hello, I'm Darren Alf. I am the Bicycle Terrain Pro. Since 2001, I have been traveling around the world on my bicycle, and since 2007, I have been teaching other people how to conduct their own incredible bicycle terrain adventures anywhere in the world. 
Now, one of the things that I like to do as the Bicycle Touring Pro is to show that there are different types of bicycle touring. Sometimes I show myself and others camping in a tent and sleeping under the stars. And other times, like on this particular bike tour, I like to show that you can bicycle tour with a little bit more luxury. Stay in nice hotels, uh, be guided along a route by experienced local guides, um, have a lot of the details uh, taken care of for you so that you can simply show up at the start of the tour and enjoy yourself by riding your bike and, and not having to worry about where you're going to sleep at night or which route you're going to take and all of the other details that come along with planning your own self-supported bicycle tour. And this particular bike tour, the Way of St. James bike tour with Folden Visit Cycling Holidays, was not my first guided group tour that I've done in the world. I've done several bike tours like this in other parts of the world. But I can honestly say that this bike tour with Fold and Visit Cycling Holidays was one of the best guided group bike tours that I've ever participated in. And it honestly had a lot to do with the people working at the company. Um, I just really liked these guys, all of them. That were that, There were four tour leaders on this trip and each and every one of them I just thought was incredible. Uh, so down to earth, so friendly, so helpful. Um, there were no real issues on this trip at all and I had a great time and I know that everybody else participating in the tour as well had a great time. So I like this trip so much in fact that I've decided that I'm going to go back to Portugal again in 2019 and participate in another bike tour with Fold and Visit Cycling Holidays. It will be the Silver Coast bike route. This bike tour that I did in this video was the Way of St. James bike tour, which went from Porto, Portugal up to Santiago de Compostela. The, the bike tour that I'm going to be participating in in 2019 is the Silver Coast bike tour and it goes from Porto, Portugal down the coast to the south. So very similar terrain, I think, but a completely different route. And not only am I going to be participating in this particular bike tour, but I'm inviting you to come along with me. This is a bike tour, a guided group bike tour with Fulton Visit Cycling Holidays that you can join me on. So if you have ever wanted to go bicycle touring in Portugal, if you've ever wanted to go bicycle touring with me, the Bicycle Touring Pro, or if you've ever wanted to be featured in one of my Bicycle Touring Pro videos here on the Bicycle Touring Pro YouTube channel, now is your chance. I am doing the Silver Coast Bike Tour in September of 2019 with Fold and Visit Cycling Holidays. If you're interested, even if you're just interested in participating in this bike tour, please check out the link in the video description down below. There's also a link on the Bicycle Touring Pro events calendar page, so check that out. And if you have any questions or you actually do want to join the, the tour in September, go ahead and contact either myself, Darren Alf at Bicycle Touring Pro, or contact Fold and Visit Cycling Holidays directly and simply tell them that you want to participate in the Silver Coast Bike Tour with Bicycle Touring Pro in September of 2019. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos here from the Way of St. James Bike Tour. I really, really enjoyed not only participating in the trip, but sharing the adventure with you. And I hope to see you in September 2019 in Porto, Portugal for the start of the Silver Coast Bike Route with Fold and Visit Cycling Holidays. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the road. Bye! Woo! Bye-bye!